This is your Weather Extreme video for Thursday, August the 2nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and weather pattern over us isn't changing much, um, and, and that's becoming a bit of a challenge on these thunderstorms, but also the tropics heating up. Here's our sky cam this morning from Mount Chiha, beautiful sunrise image. As I say, the pattern isn't changing much. We're still dealing with this northwesterly flow pattern and a weakness over the southeastern U.S. in the upper atmosphere, ridge off to our west, Bermuda High off in the Atlantic, and we'll talk about the tropics in just a minute. The problem here is that northwesterly flow, as you see, we do have a little cluster of thunderstorms in Arkansas. That northwesterly flow is bringing that stuff down our way, and yesterday we saw an interesting situation with thunderstorms in Georgia and in Mississippi, but we didn't get anything kind of high and dry. Temperatures this morning generally in the lower and mid-70s with dew points still around 70, so the humidity is very high, a little patchy fog here and there. Again, the radar showing uh, that cluster of thunderstorms in uh, the northeastern and north-central part of Arkansas generally moving to the south-southeast. QPF, certainly representative of uh, both the front that will be down our way on Sunday and uh, the continuation of scattered showers. Not everybody is going to get all of this rain uh, that you see uh, forecast here because it's going to be uh, of the scattered variety. Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk uh, primarily in the western part of the Dakotas and then a couple of sea techs in the Great Lakes and down in the central U.S. for day one. Day two, the... Uh, uh, Dakota slight risk moves uh, into Minnesota and uh, headed for the western Great Lakes there and uh, no other sea techs around that way. We, uh, we have Tropical Depression 5 uh, moving rather quickly uh, toward the Windward Islands. They have uh, uh, storm uh, uh, watches already in effect. That is, tropical storm uh, watches are in effect for uh, that area. Uh, it is a depression and expected to stay a depression today. Uh, probably become a tropical storm tomorrow as it gets into an area of uh, more favorable conditions. And as you can see from the overall track, expected to make its way across the Caribbean rather quickly. And the model guidance is all in reasonably good agreement. And what this means, of course, is that it looks like this could become a Gulf storm. Now, we're not going to start you know, picking spots in the Gulf. The GFS, as you'll see in a little while, is looking at the possibility of a western Gulf storm. Uh, and But everybody in the Gulf will need to stay uh, vigilant on this particular storm. And this one would be called Ernesto, by the way. Okay, the 06E GFS model uh, run this morning, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, northwesterly flow is with us. We're going to have another hot day today as we see temperatures climb primarily into the mid and upper 90s once again and the high humidities. And that means uh, you know heat, index, heat indices getting up there around the 105 to 110 range. Uh, I don't believe there is a heat advisory in effect, uh, but uh, definitely keep the heat in uh, mind. It is not completely dangerous, but certainly getting up there. The northwesterly flow continues, and we see these little disturbances. You see uh, one kind of over eastern Tennessee and one over northern Mississippi, and we're going to have to watch those every day for the possibility of complexes that uh, will certainly update and change the forecast. But for now, at least, uh, scattered showers remain in the forecast. By Saturday, uh, that big trough we've been talking about is moving across the western Great Lakes and it's dampening the ridge to our west, the ridge to our, or the uh, Bermuda High to our east. They're trying to get together, but they really don't quite do it thanks to that trough. The trough kind of uh, drops into the Great Lakes and to the uh, central or the Ohio River Valley, Tennessee River Valley, and it kind of keeps the two from getting back together again. And of course, that'll drag a front down into uh, the Ohio and um, Ohio River Valley and the Tennessee uh, River Valleys on Sunday. So that should increase our chances for uh, rain on that particular day and probably into Monday as well as we see once again the, the ridge to our west kind of pushes back to the west and the trough establishes itself and we're back into what? Another northwesterly flow pattern, yes. So, uh, and that northwesterly flow pattern stays there on Tuesday and then on Wednesday it's still there and now we're seeing a reflection of the tropical system down in the um, uh, near the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, representative both on the upper air pattern and on the uh, surface pattern on the GFS. So come the middle of next week, we're going to be dealing with where will that be headed. And of course, the presence of a front would suggest possibly that it wouldn't go too far west. So again, the entire Gulf needs to be uh, alert to what's going on. And then a week from today, you can see the uh, upper air reflection of 
that tropical system in the uh, central Gulf. And at the surface, of course, it's uh, south of New Orleans. So again, it can be headed just about anywhere. I do believe the GFS in the next uh, frame w w takes it, or the next uh, time period takes it, into um, southeast Texas. But again, let's not concentrate yet on a landfall position. Everybody in the Gulf needs to be aware of this storm. Going out into Voodoo a little bit further, and the dreaded uh, ridge comes back across the eastern half of the country pretty strongly. Uh, it's a 588, not a 594, so it's, uh, but it's still strong. So just we've seen this happen a couple of times in the last uh, week or so, so we'll just have to watch that and see if that really does happen. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted uh, tomorrow morning by 730 or 8. In the meantime, uh, stay tuned to the blog for the latest updates, and we'll be monitoring, of course, the uh, movement and uh, positions of the future tropical storm Ernesto. In the meantime, have a great day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>